Now we're going to look at the 135 pound championship match. And we'll be watching in the red, white, and blue singlet, Steve Elkins, another wrestler from Medill, Oklahoma. Elkins, a four-time state champion. And he'll, he's wrestling in the blue and black and white singlet. Chad Kerr from Plainfield, Indiana. He attended Decatur Central High School. And Chad Kerr was the state runner-up this year in Indiana, 142 pounds. He was a two-time state place winner. He was sixth in the state of Indiana his sophomore year. 30 seconds gone, no score as yet. Steve Elkins of Oklahoma in the red, white, blue singlet to your left. And Chad Kerr of Indiana in the blue, black, and white. And a spin behind now by Chad Kerr, but he couldn't finish it, couldn't get Elkins down on the supporting points to finish, and they go off the mat. We've wrestled 50 seconds. Both wrestlers seem to like themselves up top a little bit, jockeying for position. And Elkins looks like maybe he uh, lost a contact lens. He'll have to replace that. During this break, we'll identify your officials, being Vinny Russo from New Jersey and Roy Dragon from New Jersey. Roy Dragon, one of the up-and-coming officials in the Union Essex County, New Jersey area. I had a chance to see him a few times during the regular season. He, uh, along with Vinny Russo, worked their state tournament this year. And uh, interesting to see the styles of these officials from the various states. Uh, OK, injury time stops. And by the way, when the contact lens is out, that is injury time. Wrestler charged against his injury time replace that contact lens. Little over a minute gone here in the first period and no score. Well, rather unusual. We've uh, seen a lot of action go by without points being scored. We've had uh, we've had a lot of scoring in these uh, matches so far. Yes, we have. Both these wrestlers seem to have a little bit of a mutual respect for their styles, and they're just trying to find an opening right now, which is very key for you on your feet is to create an opening. And well, one thing I've discovered about New Jersey officials from watching a lot of New Jersey matches this year is they, they do like to force the action, and we may well see a stalling call here very soon. Yes, they'll, they'll either call uh, double stallings or even a lot of times they'll just call stalemates and put it back up. Nice arm drag by Kerr. Couldn't quite finish it. Five seconds left in the first period, and it probably will be scoreless. You're right there, Rob. That was two long minutes with basically one committed takedown being an arm drag by Kerr. The rest was just jockeying for position. Steve Elkins uh, defers for the second period. And Chad Kerr with the choice takes down. We're about to start the second period here in the 135-pound championship match. These are the sixth annual National High School Wrestling Championships from the A.J. Palumbo Center on the campus of Duquesne University in Pittsburgh. Rob Sherrill along with Ed Ferraro and Bob Gaines bringing you the action. We've wrestled 15 seconds and now a cradle cross face cradle by Steve Elkins and two points coming so far Elkins still's got that cradle locked up Elkins slapped that near cradle on him and Kerr I think thought he could roll out of it and he just kind of powered him over to get the two back points couldn't quite do it and the first points of the match go to Steve Elkins of Medill Oklahoma the four time state champion Two points for that cradle. Two points on the near fall. A minute 25 left to go in the second period. Two to nothing in favor of Steve Elkins, and now Chur Kerr runs out for the escape. Two to one. Kerr, by giving up those two near fall points, kind of negated whatever advantage he might have had by starting down. Elkins couldn't finish that slide-by attempt. Under a minute left in the second period. 
two to one in favor of Steve Elkins of Oklahoma. Elkins wearing the red, white, and blue. Both wrestlers having similar styles on their feet. That's why you're not seeing a lot of the action because they're just mirroring each other and by jockeying with their heads and their hand fighting. And if you even notice, they're even stepping the same way. Uh, it's going to be rather difficult to see something wide open out of that. It usually takes a mistake that a wrestler will capitalize on at that point. Two to one, the score in favor of Steve Elkins of Oklahoma. He picked up those points with a cradle earlier in this period before Kerr scored on an escape. Ticking down to 20 seconds left here in the second period, and Kerr with the front headlock now drags out of it and tries an underneath leg shot. And he backs Kerr up to the, Elkins up to the edge and a stalling call, a warning against Steve Elkins. And I believe that's the first stalling warning we've had in these finals. Been right. a lot of action. I think you're right, Rob. Kerr Five took, seconds left in the second period. Kerr took, I believe, three unanswered shots there. And when Elkins just kept backing up, that prompted the official to hit him with a stalling call. As you said, they try to keep the action going as much as possible. And when it's a straight back defense, they have a problem with that. Two periods in the books now. 135 pound championship match. And Steve Elkins of Oklahoma with a two to one lead will start the third period on the bottom. Kerr indicating the optional start. Thought about maybe bringing it back down, but he gives up the escape and it's three to one. Now Kerr trying the drag and they go off the edge. That's a little unusual in that situation, especially coming into the third period where both wrestlers were on their feet for a good three minutes and not a whole lot. Elkins with a real nice high crotch coming up, approaching a bear hug. Now he wants to try and lift Kerr off the mat and a nice little dump there for the for the takedown and he now leads five to one. Mr. Kerr's gonna have to bail out of this and forget reaching back or he's gonna get some back points against him with Elkins trapped in the middle. And now Kerr kind of coming out the back door, and it looks like he's That's got two. the reversal. Yes, he does. That's two. As a reversal goes, it's not like being on your feet. When you get behind the other wrestler, it's two right there immediately. There doesn't have to be weight on the hands, and you don't have to hit the mat, contrary to when you are on your feet. It has a more established position from your feet. And Kerr just muscled his way through that. The standing reversal by Chad Kerr, and he's back in this match. Five to three, and now he gives up the escape, and it's a six to three lead for Steve Elkins of Oklahoma. Minute 10 left to go in this match. Now uh, Elkins switching off to a double, trying to finish while they're in bounds. Can't quite do it. Elkins with a real nice high crotch once again, changing off, cut and double, and then comes up into a bear hug position, which is all strength at that point. Nice little drop step and penetration there just kind of ran nice out of real duck. estate real and, nice duck and a takedown by Kerr he's cut the margin to six to five now tried to give up the escape he does seven to five and it's a one takedown match for Chad Kerr 40 seconds left to go Kerr just kind of lulled him to sleep did a little push pull and had a real sweet duck to the opposite side kind of Kind of caught Elkins going the wrong way, and he managed to pick the ankle as he went by and score with it. And that's a set shot. There's no doubt about it. That's something he's used in the past. Real nice low leg single. Coming in, cut and double. He's got to finish this. He's got 25 seconds to finish this. Kerr now with guys Elkins Ooh. in the air, but he hasn't finished it. Elkins still has the lock. He may go to the head here. If he goes to the head, Oh my 15 God. 15 seconds and Elkins steps over, and that's it, at a pin. Looked maybe like Kerr had the tying takedown, but Steve Elkins with the step over right to his back and the fall. Kerr just leaned back, exposed himself to the point that Elkins picked up on it, stepped across through both boots in, no movement for two to three seconds. The official slaps the mat, and Mr. Steve Elkins, your champion. 5.50, the time of the fall for the four-time state champion from Medill, Oklahoma, Steve Elkins, and what an electrifying finish to that match. I mean, we're going from a point, you talk about emotional swing. At the point of that fall, 
Kerr was two points away from taking this baby into overtime. Beautiful high crotch, finished off cut double, taking him to his back, and Elkins steps over, throws in both boots, and gets the fall. In potentially on the shot that might have sent this match to overtime, and instead, it ends in a pin.